Ah! That's not even an Elden Ring. Hey gamers, we're here to talk about Hogwarts Legacy today. That's right, it's me, your world's favorite influencer. Welcome back to Travis's Game Corner. Travis's Game Corner. So today we're gonna talk about Hogwarts Legacy. I got an exclusive because I got it early by pre-ordering it like everyone else who can also play it. But I'm playing it first. And let me tell you, it's totes transphobic. Hold on to your broomsticks, fam, because it's about to get muggle in here. Here are the top transphobic moments in Hogwarts Legacy. Kapow! Let's dig in! Here's the first problem. Separate boys and girls dormitory. That's sexist segregation. And also, it leaves no room for the other genders. The auto gender, the robo gender, the void speller gender, the squib gender. There's so many genders. Why shouldn't they be living in harmony when you can change gender at will? That's what happens in real life. Next, as it turns out, there's no black or trans history classes because headmaster Ron DeSantis got rid of them. You know, why is this guy even headmaster? Next, there's also a problem with some of the NPCs in this game. Right outside of the potions room, there's an NPC of Matt Walsh asking everyone, what is a woman? Why doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a woman. Plus this game takes place in 1890. Matt Walsh was born on June 18th, 1986, before Harry Potter even existed. He doesn't even like anime. And did you know, friends, that there is a dark spell called Avada Kedavra, and it kills people. But if you take the words Adava and Kedavra and Avada Kedavra, and whatever the letters are, and you mix them all together, what do you get? Kill trans people. Outrageous. <laughs> Talk about a quaffle. There's not even an all-female Quidditch team for a trans woman to join and dominate because they're not women, but also they are women. And you know what? The rules to Quidditch don't even make sense at all. That you catch the snitch, the game ends, and you get 250 points. Instead of having one seeker, how about having like 20 seekers? They all go for it. You win instantly. Boom. And this golden snitch is here to snitch on JK Rowling, but she doesn't even understand sports because she's a woman who's not trans woman. And do you know who else notably appreciates Quidditch? Known transphobe, Jordan Pearson. What happens if the Seeker gets the snitch? Game's over. She has a brilliant imagination, Rowling. Even amidst all of the exploration of Hogwarts Legacy, you get a full library, but you can't get into the forbidden section where all the trans books are. That's not right. And guess what else is there? Michael Crichton's Congo. Why? One word, mandrakes. Drakes aren't men, they're women. No explanation needed. Oh, and next, guess what? This is even worse. In Hogsmeade, there's a tavern called the Three Broomsticks, and there's a drag show in the back. Your student character can't even go in there and experience the wonderful joy of trans beauty in the form of heavy makeup. And you can only change genders with a polyjuice potion, not expensive surgery. How are we supposed to get the representation we need if we're not cutting people open? I don't know. And you know, in Harry Potter, the wand chooses the wizard, which is incredibly transphobic. The wizard should choose the wand, because, you know, the wand's an allegory for, you know, it makes me sick. So I had to play it more to find out. And then you're walking along one of the corridors and the room of requirement shows up. Awesome, this is cool Harry Potter lore, except there's no trans surgeon in there. Why the heck not? That's what I need right now. Here's another problem. The sorting hat comes and it sorts you wherever, Everyone should be in Hufflepuff. Why are there four houses when Hufflepuff is the most prideful house? But either way, there's four houses. That gives the illusion of choice. Is gender a choice? No, except for the times when you change it. And there you have it. Hogwarts Legacy is the most transphobic thing to come out of Western civilization since Western civilization. If you really wanna stick up for trans people, don't buy this game and play it like I did. Final score. Hogwarts Legacy, a review, 10 out of 10. Bought on Transphobia, 10 out of 10, which averages out to zero. All right, that's it for Hogwarts Legacy. Let's never speak of it again. It is now the game which must not be named. But next time, come on back and we're gonna play the gayest game imaginable to really balance things out. FIFA 23, it's about soccer. This is a fantasy world. I want to be a giant cat person. I have to play Skyrim? That's outrageous. Skyrim's old. Hogwarts Legacy's new. I don't have a uterus now, but I could if I wanted to. 
That's reality. Oh, hi. Satan here. I just wanted to tell you, as the father of lies, I'm so proud of the Babylon Bee for spreading right-wing misinformation under the guise of satire. Just like me, they're tricking grandmas on Facebook every day, so like and subscribe, or whatever you do you.